Hello there, my dear and bright students. This is your teacher, Shikufta Faisal, and today we will talk about the trade and commerce. I know these are the new terminologies, and I will define it properly so everything will be clear in your mind. In trade, the ownership of goods or services is transferred from one person to another. Is consideration of cash or equivalents, whether it's cash or equivalent something else. Trade can be done between the two parties or more than two parties. When the buying and selling take place between two persons, it is called bilateral, bilateral trade, whereas when it is done between more than two persons, then it is called multilateral trade. Bilateral and multilateral. Earlier, the trade was little cumbersome since it followed the barter system where goods are exchanged in return of other goods or commodities. I am talking about the history. In the past time, we used to exchange goods rather than having cash. It is hard to evaluate the exact value because of the different commodities type involved in the exchange. With the advent of money, this process become more convenient for both the sellers and the buyers. Trade can be domestic as well as foreign. Domestic trade means within the border of the country and the foreign trade means across the borders, mean to other country. Foreign trade is done through investments in securities or funds and can be termed as imports and exports. So here comes the commerce, the definition of commerce. Commerce includes all the activities that help in facilitating the exchange of goods and services from the manufacturer or the producer to the ultimate consumer. Majorly, the activities are transportation, banking, insurance, advertising, warehousing, etc. That act as an aid in the successful completion of the exchange. Once the products are manufactured, these cannot reach directly to the customer. The same has to pass through a series of activities. The first wholesaler will purchase the product and with the use of transportation, the goods will be made available to the shores and at the same banking and insurance services will be availed by him to have protection against the uh, loss of goods. Once the products are manufactured, these cannot reach directly to the customer. The same has to pass through a series of activities. What type of activities? The first wholesaler will purchase the product with the use of transportation. The goods will be made available to the stores and at the same banking and insurance service will be availed by him to have protection against the loss of the goods. The retailer will then sell to the ultimate consumer. All these activities come under the commerce head. In short, it can be said that commerce is the branch of business that helps to overcome all the hindrances that arise in the facilitation of exchange. No matter where the goods have been manufactured, the commerce has made it possible to reach the worldwide. 